Tale of Two Hygienists presents this week's tipisode. Quick and easy tips to keep you up to date and presented by the experts in the profession. Now, get ready for your unofficial tipisode. This week brought to you by Elevate Oral Care. Hello everyone, Steve Pardue here from Elevate Oral Care with this month's tipisode. Hygienists have the unique position of being in the forefront of preventing oral diseases rather than restoring the damage done by the disease arguably the most important part of medical management of oral diseases. Hygienists also spend the most time with patients in the dental appointment. This is valuable time where you can have the ability to offer guidance and help for patients to manage their own oral care. Oral care is evolving as we become more knowledgeable of these diseases, and this is true for caries, gingivitis, periodontal diseases, as well as other infections. Yes, infections. These and other conditions are caused by infections or imbalances of bacteria, and until recently, dentistry didn't use many antibacterial items to combat most of these diseases. Instead, we focused on manual removal of the disease and causative agents such as plaque and calculus, or even removal of decay with restorations. However, this is shifting. We've had fluorides that mineralize the tooth, restorations that repair the function of the tooth, and even calcium phosphates that help harden the tooth and replace lost minerals. But these are focused on repairing damage that's already occurred and not preventing the damage in the first place. Options for antimicrobial and antiseptic agents to truly prevent caries and other diseases are limited and to date haven't been well targeted. Chlorhexidine, for example, is great at reducing the bacteria that cause gingivitis and periodontal disease, but the once daily rinse is not terribly effective at removing cariogenic bacteria. In fact, studies show it has little to no effect on caries. Essential oils have an effect to treat and prevent gingivitis and periodontal disease as well, but have never been looked at for their ability to reduce caries. Also, both of these agents are quite broad spectrum and kill even the good bacteria needed to have healthy oral environment. Think of this in different terms as perhaps the herbicide Roundup, rather than the weed and feed if we were talking about lawn care. If you kill all the weeds and the grass from your yard, the weeds will grow back quickly. But if you kill the weeds and not the grass, the grass will help keep the weeds at bay. In the oral environment, we want to keep the strep family of bacteria out. So what's one of the best things to do this? Ironically, we've known the solution for quite some time. It's been used and studied in dentistry, oral applications, skin, and mucous membrane use for years. It's povidone iodine. In dentistry, povidone iodine is used frequently prior to general anesthesia cases and surgical procedures to reduce bacteria. It's used on skin prior to incisions and after sutures are put in place. Much of the research that was completed on the ingredient was done back in the 1970s, and it shows a unique effect that other products simply didn't have. Not only does povidone iodine work as an antiseptic against the strep family bacteria, which is more targeted than other antimicrobials that were tested, it also works in a unique way among antiseptic and antimicrobial products. We've all been taught in school that plaque sticks to teeth due to sticky components called polysaccharides. These polysaccharides are byproducts of bacterial metabolism, specifically glucan production. Povidone iodine reduces glucan production significantly, which in turn reduces the ability to create polysaccharides and makes plaque less sticky. This method of action is what makes povidone iodine use in dentistry so unique. Its antiseptic properties not only kill bugs, but it also helps prevent plaque from sticking in the first place. A double punch. Elevate Oral Care is pleased to launch a kit of povidone iodine for in-office and at-home dental use. This kit is called POVI-1, 10% povidone iodine, and it provides six unit dose applications of povidone iodine to be used at one or two month intervals, depending on patient risk level. We've hosted a webinar with Dr. Jeremy Horst on povidone iodine that provides detailed information, and this presentation is available on our website at www.elevateoralcare.com slash elevatingcare. Call us at 877-866-9113 for more information and to schedule an informative office staff meeting to teach you this new therapy and all of our other therapies for improved patient care. Thanks for listening to another Tipisode. And thank you to Elevate Oral Care for sponsoring this week's episode. You can find out more about their great products at elevateoralcare.com. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button in your podcast app. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram and head over to our website, a tale of two hygienists.com to sign up for our newsletter. We always appreciate ratings and reviews. And thanks for listening to your unofficial dental hygiene podcast. 